Well, our first programming was, uh, you know, the key for our programming, first of all, was mainly movies that were black horned movies uh, that we could get that were not being shown on other television networks or on other cable companies. Gospel programming, uh, principally produced out of Nashville by a guy named Bobby Jones, and uh, black college football and basketball, and some uh, black network sitcoms, and then some originally produced news, public affairs, talk shows that we created out here in Washington, D.C., because it's a you know, great public affairs town, all the elected officials were here. And so it was, it was a combination of, of what we could, programming that we could buy that already existed, programming that could be produced, talk shows and studio shows, relatively inexpensive, and uh, off-network off product movies and sitcoms. Now, what was the, do you remember the first uh, program that, that was produced specifically for BT? Uh, I think the first one was probably Bobby Jones' Gospel. Uh, was produced specifically for BET. And then later on it was Video Soul, which was our premier video show. It was just a, 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 a you know, copy of what was happening on the other video channels. MTV had their VJs, and they had the VJs would introduce videos and interview artists, and the artists would perform on the show from time to time. And Video Soul was the exact same model. We took a, a dominant a preeminent radio host in this market, a guy named Donnie Simpson, uh, matched him up with a female co-host and built a set and put the programming show. They would introduce uh, videos and then every now and then the, the talent would come on and talk about the videos or perform while they Principally, obviously, the program had to be targeted to African Americans, designed to appeal to the uh, uh, entertainment and emotional interests of African Americans for entertainment and information. So that was the, the, the key philosophy of the content. And then, of course, the program had to be uh, at the right value proposition in order to uh, be able to make the business profitable. So you couldn't go out and produce major dramas or major movies, or you couldn't pay huge rights fees for sports, uh, or you couldn't uh, sign talent at huge uh, talent fees. So it had to be economically viable. It had to be targeted to African Americans. And it had to be, to some extent, uh, different from what was already on television. Different not so much in that a football game is a football game, but if you're doing Grambling football, it's different from Notre Dame because you know, Notre Dame is all over, Grambling is not. So it had to have that appeal. If you're going to do videos, while well, there were a lot of video shows, early on uh, during BET's uh, infancy, MTV was not showing African-American videos. They were just showing, uh, they started out as a rock channel, so there weren't many rock um, videos for, by African-Americans. And so <clears throat> the network had to be different in that sense, and, and that was consistent with its content.